Welcome back to Albany County Fasteners, Fasteners 101. I'm Bob, and today we're going to cut threaded rod and chamfer the edges. So let's get started. I have here my 3 8 16 by 6 foot long threaded rod. I'm going to mark out my 3 foot length. So I'm basically slicing these in half. For a customer that has requested us to cut his rod, chamfer the edges. And that's what we'll do next after we cut the threaded rod. I have here a chop saw with uh, a stainless steel abrasive made for cutting stainless steel. I'm going to line up my marks with the blade. You should have safety glasses on. So you don't get any, any debris in your eyes or sparks. And I'm going to start now. OK, so I have my stainless steel cut rod here. As you can see, the edge needs to be chamfered. I put a rag between the threaded rod and the vise, so this way we don't do any damage to the threads. So I'm gonna have my uniburb here, which will chamfer the edge. And the key to uniburb is crawl and go slow, not fast. Just crawl slowly, you can see the chips falling off there. And we're just going to chamfer that edge so we can get a nut on here. There you go, perfect. So I have 10 pieces to do like this. I'll do another one. That's one for the customer completed. You can see the edge there. I'm going to bring it in a little closer for you. See that? Look how nice that is. It's an awesome tool. It's a $65 tool. And you get an amazing result. So I have 10 pieces. I'm going to be doing the rest of these 10 now. I'm going to bang them out, get this shipped out to our customer. The slower I go, the better the result. If you're going to go fast, it's not going to work very well for you. You're just going to burn out the bit. Here we go. Perfect. And you can see how fast I'm rolling along with this, how quick this is. This is not something that should take you long. You see there again, if I try to put this nut on, just not going to happen. But it will once I get finished chamfering this edge here. That's the second one. Always want to protect the threads so you don't damage the threads on the rest of the threaded rod. And as you're drilling, you want to keep your eyes on the, uh, the bit that you're running straight. And this particular one is giving me a little might have to persuade it a little bit here. Sometimes you have to do that also. But there you go. Just needed a little thread starting there. But now it's started, it's all fine. 
So that's my uh, fourth that I finished. I'm on to my fifth one already. You have to put steady pressure. on your drill. Okay, same thing's gonna happen with this one. To give it a little start. And there you go. Now, if you had to use a grinder or a file and file these things, it would take you all day to get 10 pieces done. Whereas it's taken me probably about five minutes each rod. That's my sixth one. My seventh one is my eighth. Some work great, others need a little persuasion. My ninth one. And my final, 10th piece. I do find it good to move the Uniburb around. It does, instead of just holding it straight, over time I've learned that it just cuts the edges nicer. But when you finish, finish straight. Okay, I think on the last, uh, this last threaded rod, it gave me a little problem, but I think I screwed the thread up in the nut, but finally got this done. Had to uh, retrim this particular one, but uh, all 10 pieces done, about 30 minutes, 35 minutes complete. Everything is, uh, Chamfered, cut it. We chamfered them for the customer. You can see there, beautiful, nice job. Customer will be happy with that. That's basically how you cut threaded rod and chamfer the edges so you can get a nut on. Thanks for watching. There you go. Subscribe, like, comment. 
Visit us at albanycountyfasteners.com for 50,000 SKUs right off the rack, ready to ship. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.